Oh, hi! I did not see you there! Oh my god! We are back in my uh, bedroom in Bethesda, where the lighting is treacherous. I must be continuously on my guard in order to maintain just the right lighting. Let me close the blinds so that none of the neighbors think I'm more peculiar than they already do. What's up? I'm Miles Hughes, and this is Miles Per Hour Fast Talk and High Times in the capital city where we will be for the next six weeks or so. Uh, this is my this is my Bethesda bedroom. Swanky, no? Uh, pretty barren all around. This is, I have not unpacked. I have not made any effort to unpack. I probably won't unpack until like a week before just because I have to start packing again. Uh, ah, so uh, it's been fun being here. I spent last night with uh, my buddies Jesse Baturin and Brendan Kennedy spent the night, it was super duper hungover this morning, but it's all well and good. I only, sp I think I slept in till like three o'clock or something preposterous, but you know what? I'm on break. I can do that now. It's awesome. Uh, ooh, feeling jazzed all of a sudden. I don't even know why. I uh, just got back, um, I went with uh, Alex. We went and saw The King's Speech. Great movie. Definitely, um... I think Colin Firth is like a shoe in to win uh, Best Actor at the Oscars this year. And uh, oh, it's, it's very good. It's very lighthearted, which is, you know, for such a serious subject matter. You know, you get the stuffy period dramas where they're like, oh, yes, 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 for like two hours and you just want to throttle them with their own wigs. But no, this one was much more sort of conservative. Oh my god, I have to like jump from light source to light source. I'm gonna go through the rest of the house. Take you on a guided tour, won't you come with me? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so we went and saw that, and then we um, went to Barnes & Noble to do the remainder of our Christmas shopping. Good lord! All right, here's some artwork. None of it's mine. <laughs> Please, I don't have artistic talents. Wait, no, there is one. This, this red one, you see? This, that's mine. That's the bulk of my, no, that's not the bulk. That's the entirety of my artistic talent right there. Uh, laundry room, brother's rooms, moving on. Uh, there's the downstairs area. I don't want to show you all... Take two. I don't want to show you everything at once, though, because it will be more interesting throughout the next six weeks if I only show you a little bit at a time. So for now, enjoy my bedroom. Um, what else is there to say? Not much. Gonna get started on resolution. Gonna go, uh, tomorrow to probably get my, I, uh, my license, my driver's license renewed. And then we're just going to play the rest of the day how we want to. <laughs> uh, oh god. Um, hang on. Okay, this is supposed to, okay. Uh... You, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. All right, I'm going to freaking stop recording because I don't have anything else to say. Uh, today's question is... Mm, who, who, who's your choice to win Best Picture at the Oscars this year? Who do you think's going to? Personally, I give odds to the social network, but I'm hearing a lot of buzz for the King's Speech, uh, True Grit, Black Swan, even the fighter is getting a lot of buzz lately. So who do you reckon is the best choice to win Best Picture? Post in the comments, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. If you are, go get on that subscription thing if you aren't already. Take it easy, thank you for watching, and uh, moin.